Osteopathy has been uh, for everything, actually, since I was a child. So when I was like 11 or 12, I blocked my neck and the only person who unlocked me was an osteopath. And only by touching, like for just a second, she felt so many things. I realized that's what I wanted to do. Before touching someone or an animal, you have to be really peaceful and in your center. But it's even more important with the dog. When I treat a dog, it's like a pose. It's a silent moment. I think the first thing you have to have if you want to treat animals is first to love animals. But the second thing is that you have to know anatomy. The founder of osteopathy said the pillar of osteopathy is anatomy, anatomy, anatomy. So a very good anatomy training is the most important thing. Animal osteopathy is for every osteopath and vets and physio and all these people who knows how to deal with animals. I mean, it's not something out of reach, something really concrete and wonderful actually. Animals don't lie, and when you touch a dog, if he's not happy with what you're doing and if he feels you're somewhere else, he goes away. He wants truth or nothing. Dogs feel your intentions and feel who you really are. They have pure hearts, so everything you feel, they do feel. So if you are a therapist and you're already trained to treat humans, having a break in your week and treat animals, it's a present.